Welcome to Rwanda Medical Academy. Today's lesson is about understanding hepatic encephalopathy, a comprehensive guide. Hepatic encephalopathy, he, is a complex condition that affects the brain and is caused by liver dysfunction. This lesson aims to break down the concept of hepatic encephalopathy for all levels, from beginners to advanced learners, ensuring a holistic understanding of the topic. We will navigate through its definition, signs and symptoms, precipitating factors through HEPATICS, mnemonic, clinical considerations, and possible management strategies. What is hepatic encephalopathy? Hepatic encephalopathy is a neuropsychiatric syndrome resulting from liver failure. It occurs when the liver cannot remove toxins from the blood, leading to a buildup that can affect brain function. This condition can be acute or chronic and varies in severity. Signs and symptoms. Symptoms of hepatic encephalopathy can range from mild to severe and may include 1. Mental confusion, difficulty thinking clearly or concentrating. 2. Personality changes, irritability, aggression, or depression. 3. Coordination problems, difficulty writing or performing fine motor tasks. 4. Fatigue and lethargy, excessive tiredness and sleepiness. 5. Jumbled speech, speaking slowly or slurring words. 6. Memory loss, forgetting recently learned information or events. 7. Advanced symptoms, in severe cases, there might be a coma or a state resembling deep sleep from which the person cannot be awakened. Understanding these symptoms is crucial for early detection and management of hepatic encephalopathy. Precipitating factors explained through the HEPATICS mnemonic. The HEPATICS mnemonic serves as a valuable tool for remembering the common triggers or precipitating factors leading to hepatic encephalopathy. Each letter stands for a specific condition or event that can either cause or worsen hepatic encephalopathy. Let's explore each of these factors in detail. H stands for hemorrhage in gastrointestinal tract, GIT, and hyperkalemia. Hemorrhage in GIT, gastrointestinal tract, bleeding within the gastrointestinal tract, particularly from varices, can significantly increase the levels of ammonia and other toxins in the blood, worsening or triggering hepatic encephalopathy. Hyperkalemia. Although not as direct a cause as GI hemorrhage, hyperkalemia, a high level of potassium in the blood, can disrupt cellular function, including in the brain, and potentially worsen HE. E stands for excess protein in diet. Excess protein. A diet too high in protein can increase the production of ammonia and other toxins that the liver, already compromised due to its disease, cannot clear effectively. This buildup can contribute to the development of hepatic encephalopathy. P stands for paracentesis. Paracentesis. This is a procedure to remove fluid from the belly due to conditions like ascites. Paracentesis can lead to changes in blood volume and potentially worsen he if not performed carefully, especially without albumin infusion. A stands for acidosis and anemia. Acidosis. A condition where there is too much acid in the body fluids can impair the function of various organs, including the brain, and exacerbate hepatic encephalopathy. Anemia. This condition reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood, which can deprive the brain of the necessary oxygen, potentially aggravating hepatic encephalopathy. T stands for trauma. Trauma. Any form of physical trauma can lead to systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, that can exacerbate hepatic encephalopathy by increasing ammonia production or impairing its clearance. I stands for infection. Infection. Infections lead to inflammation and can increase the levels of ammonia and other toxins due to the body's response to the infection, thereby precipitating HE. C stands for colon surgery. Colon surgery. Surgery on the colon can impact the balance of gut flora and potentially increase the production of toxins like ammonia, which can precipitate hepatic encephalopathy. S stands for sedatives. Sedatives. The use of sedatives, especially those metabolized by the liver, can worsen the cognitive function of patients with hepatic encephalopathy as the liver's compromised function may not efficiently eliminate the drugs. Clinical considerations. When diagnosing and treating, healthcare professionals pay close attention to history and physical examination, to identify any of the precipitating factors or underlying liver disease. Laboratory tests, blood tests to check liver function, ammonia levels, and other relevant parameters. Neurological exams, to assess the mental status and degree of encephalopathy. Imaging studies, such as MRI or CT scans, to rule out other causes of neurological symptoms. 
Possible management. Management of HE involves both treating the underlying liver disease and directly addressing the symptoms of encephalopathy. 1. Dietary changes. Limiting protein intake to reduce ammonia production. 2. Lactulose, a laxative to help absorb toxins and remove them from the intestines. 3. Antibiotics, such as rifaximin, to reduce ammonia-producing bacteria in the gut. 3. Avoiding precipitating factors, such as medications that can be harmful to liver patients or avoiding alcohol. 5. Liver transplant, in severe cases or when liver function is significantly compromised. Conclusion. Hepatic encephalopathy is a serious but manageable condition stemming from liver dysfunction. Through understanding its signs, symptoms, and precipitating factors, as well as adopting appropriate clinical considerations and management strategies, we can significantly improve the quality of life for individuals affected by this condition. Remember, early detection and effective management are key to combating hepatic encephalopathy. Thank you for learning. Join and save a life with us at Rwanda Medical Academy.